While most PDFs tend to be read-only by default, if you're using a dedicated editor, they can still be edited. One way to prevent this is through flattening. While this can be done to varying degrees on dedicated software, practical flattening is a breeze. Here's all you need to do. If you just need to flatten the form fields of an editable PDF to make a read-only copy, a quick way to do it is to open your PDF on your browser, then click on the print icon. On the printing window that pops up, click on the drop-down menu next to Destination and select Save as PDF. Once that's done, click on Print. You'll be prompted to give your file a name and choose where it saves to. Other things on the document can still be moved and edited. If you need more options, or the option to make the entire document completely uneditable, you'll need to use a dedicated PDF editor or service. While you can easily do this on dedicated software like Adobe's Acrobat Pro, a subscription can be quite costly. If you don't have Adobe Acrobat Pro, you don't need to worry. You can just use Sejda. Just click on the link in the description below to head to the site, then click on Upload PDF Files to get started. A window will appear and you'll be prompted to find and open the PDF you want to flatten. After you've uploaded, you've got a choice between flattening everything or flattening only the form fields. Remember, flattening only form fields will turn a fillable PDF into a read-only version. Other things on the document can still be moved or edited. Flattening everything, on the other hand, will render the entire document uneditable. From here, you can also choose your document's resolution by clicking on More Options. Once you've made your choice, just click on Flatten PDF. The app will then process the document and show you a preview and download button once it's ready. As a free service, you can only edit a certain amount of documents per hour. While this is no problem if you only need to do this for a file or two from time to time, you might want to pay for a subscription if you need to do this regularly for multiple files. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering PDFs and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.